The Galaxy S24 Plus and the Galaxy Z Flip 6 are both $1,000 phones from Samsung this year. Both have 6.7 inch diagonal displays, virtually identical internal specs, same 7 years of software support, and a bunch of new AI features. So for people wanting to upgrade to a new flagship Samsung phone right now but don't know if they want a foldable or not, this might be a very fitting comparison. With so many similarities, the difference really comes down to the traditional slap display versus a folding display. This one difference is actually a huge deal when comparing all kinds of day-to-day -day use cases. So let me take you through all the things you need to know between these two phones and you can decide yourself if this is the year you flip or not. Okay, so both of these phones are matte glass and matte aluminum everywhere, which makes them both feel really high quality and well put together. They both look really nice, especially in these respective colors, but I will say that the Flip 6 has more of a premium look to me. Really, it's just the fact that a bunch of other Samsung phones look really similar to the S24 Plus, which kind of makes it look a little generic. I still love it, but yeah, the Flip 6 is a foldable, so it's just more unique by design. It's got this two-tone look that looks super sleek in this brush gray color, it's awesome. That said, also by design, you do need to be at least a little more careful with a folding display. I personally never had any durability issues with a foldable or this Flip 6, but I have seen family, friends, and reports online with all kinds of different issues with the Flip series displays and screen protectors even as recent as the Flip 5. On top of that, most third-party cases don't provide hinge protection. Before I got a hinge protected case, I was very paranoid about dropping this thing and having it landing right on the hinge. You'll most likely be fine since the screen protector is affordable to replace and Samsung has really upped their repair services for foldables, but these things are definitely some things to keep in mind. On the other hand, I never worry about the S24 Plus. Yes, there are some scratches on the display glass, but I throw this around everywhere and I don't have to worry about it. Thankfully, the Flip's folding display and the cover screen have a ton of advantages that I think make the trade-offs worth it for lots of people. Since the cover screen can access your notifications, all kinds of helpful widgets, and your essential apps that you need quick access to, I actually don't unfold it that often and I get to be a lot more efficient about using my phone. If there's no notification, I kind of don't open it that often and so I definitely do a lot less doom scrolling with the Flip 6. Plus, since it can fold into this little square shape, it's way easier for more types of pocket sizes, better for walking and sitting down, and takes up way less space inside bags and on the desk. But if you do like to use your phone a lot and you don't care about less screen time, the S24 Plus is much less of a hassle since you don't have to unfold it. And even though the Flip 6 is a lot narrower and should be better for one-handed usability, I actually didn't find that to be the case. Since the Flip 6 is taller and things are located higher up on the screen, Screen, reaching those parts one-handed was easier on the S24 Plus. Plus, the volume and power buttons are a lot easier to press too since they're not situated as high up as a Flip 6. Now, just like how important design and comfort are to my phone preferences, I feel the same way about my clothing choices. If you're a fan of comfortable, minimal apparel like Uniqlo and Muji, but you're interested in something higher quality and even more comfortable, I definitely recommend the Fresh Collection by Textail, the sponsor for this video. I've been wearing their fresh t-shirt and shorts throughout the last week or so, and they're actually super comfortable, like way more than expected. Thanks to a nice mix of cotton and plant-based modal fabric, the t-shirt is ultra smooth and soft. So as a person who easily gets hot, I much prefer wearing this over any of my other t-shirts right now. The shorts are engineered with air perforations around the waist, so they're super lightweight and they fit comfortably with a four-way stretch. There are big convenient smart pockets and these breathe really well just like the t-shirt. We're now entering hoodie season two, so this fresh hoodie has also been super promising. Thanks to the modal cotton and low-cell materials, it's just as soft as the tee and the shorts. This is anti-static and wrinkle-free too, which I didn't even know was possible with hoodies. There are also four pockets with two of them designated for low-key items like a wallet or phone. On top of being super comfortable, all these are waterproof and steam repellent. So even though these are light colored, I don't have to worry about them when it's raining or when I'm eating messy. All these have screen printed labels, so no obnoxious branding or annoying tags anywhere. They all have hydrophobic fabric and are pre-shrunk, so you can just pop them in the washer and not have to worry about them. So yeah, these have basically become a must have for me, and even outside of this sponsor, I'm going to be buying more of these for my closet. If you're interested too, check them out using the links below and make sure to use coupon code HOYOUNG20 to get a nice $20 discount if you spend $100 or more. On the technical side, they're both beautiful, super bright AMOLED displays and the speakers are excellent on both phones with the flip surprisingly keeping up really well with the S24+. Plus. The S24 Plus does have a more pixel-dense display, so it does look sharper in some situations, but it's really not a noticeable difference that most people will care about. While the display quality doesn't really make a big difference, the aspect ratio does. Even though these are both 6.7 inch diagonal displays, their aspect ratios make them totally different. The Flip 6 is better for reading articles and split-screen multitasking where you have a lot more vertical real estate. Some extra wide movies are perfect for this aspect ratio, but for most types of video content like on YouTube and TV shows, there's way less letterboxing on the S24 Plus, which makes for better video 
video viewing. I personally feel more comfortable using the S24 Plus display since I watch a lot of YouTube, but this part's really up to you. Okay, now let's talk cameras. This is something people are always worried about for foldables since people expect to sacrifice on camera quality when moving over. Thankfully, that's not entirely the case here. Of course, there are technical advantages on the S24 Plus since it does have that extra telephoto lens and the Flip 6 does not. So for 3x zoom and up, the S24 Plus does capture more detail thanks to the optical zoom. But honestly, it's not a huge difference and the Flip 6 surprisingly keeps up really well even at 3x. Plus, from 1x to 2x zoom, they perform just about the same in terms of capturing details and retaining overall image quality. Sometimes I felt like the Flip 6 did an even better job and produced better photos in many situations. But yeah, overall, these two phones are both flagship Samsung phones with really, really similar post-processing styles, so most photos look identical. The ultra-wide shots look virtually the same, the 4K video also looks the same between the two phones for both the rear and the front facing cameras. If you want to get nitty gritty though, there are some very slight differences. The S24 Plus goes for more of a slightly warmer, more vibrant look, while the Flip 6 has cooler tones and slightly higher contrast. The S24 Plus also brings up shadows a tiny bit more, so it's got a slightly brighter look. I think the Flip 6 gets the overall balance done a little better most of the time, but I prefer the warmer tones on the S24 Plus. On the video side, while things look even more similar here, at 2x zoom, I actually found the Flip 6 to produce cleaner video footage with less screen. Also, the Flip 6 is so much more versatile as a camera. Since you can fold it and stand it up without needing a tripod, you can use a rear camera for self-vlogging and for taking high quality selfies without relying on the worst selfie camera. So surprisingly, even with a supposedly lesser camera system, the flexibility on the Flip 6 actually makes it a much more enjoyable camera to use and even goes head to head in overall image quality too. Okay, moving on to performance. Since these are both $1,000 flagship phones with flagship specs and basically identical software, you don't have to worry about day-to-day -day performance for either of these. For opening apps, multitasking, and browsing, you're basically getting identical performance here. The only difference you may notice is the thermals and heat management. While the S24 Plus does get warm when you push it, it doesn't really affect your experience with the phone. But with the Flip 6's form factor, it has a harder time dissipating heat. There were about two occurrences where it was a long hot summer day out and I was using the camera a bunch. And then the Flip 6 got so hot the camera force stopped on me. It only happened to me twice during a long day out in the hot humid summer, so I wouldn't worry too much about it, but the S24 Plus is definitely better in terms of thermal management, and that includes for gaming too. The good news is that there is less of a disparity in battery life. Even though the S24 Plus has a much bigger battery capacity, I've experienced around the same screen on time with both phones at around 5 hours, and they can get through a full day no problem. I used to get up to 6 hours on the S24 Plus, but my usage has changed here and there, and now I get around 5 hours. But in terms of total time used and how much battery I have remaining by the end of the day, I actually experienced better results from the Flip 6, mostly because I use my phone way less thanks to the cover screen. It actively makes me much more efficient about checking my phone and prevents me from getting into long dopamine rush sessions. The notifications, widgets, and essential apps are all there, and since the cover screen is 60Hz, it keeps the battery life at bay way better than my S24 Plus. Sometimes I come home with more than 50% left after work just because I use my phone less. So even though the screen on time is about the same, I found the Z Flip 6 to just last me longer throughout the longer days, all thanks to the cover screen. The S24 Plus does get the definitive win in terms of charging. It can get up to 45 watts of charging, while the Flip 6 can get up to 25 watts. At full 45 watt speeds, it takes just under an hour to get a full charge. When charging both phones at around 25 watts, you'll get about the same charging time, which is just under one hour and a half to get a full charge. Alright, so that's it for the full comparison. Both are great phones with lots of similarities. The difference in form factor alone makes each of them better for specific use cases. So while there isn't a clear winner here, you should consider what use cases are important for you and see which phone would be better for those things. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know down in the comments which phone is the better choice for you and why you think that is. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.